Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a beer that was given to, be, to me by Marcel. He's a co-worker of mine and he took a little trip over to Croatia and a few other places in Europe. And on his way back he picked this one up in England. Uh, it's Fortnum and Mason's India Pale Ale. Uh, and on untapped it's just listed as Fortnum's India Pale Ale. Now I was I had a little bit of confusion because when I was looking this up trying to get some information on it I was looking up Fortnum and Mason Brewery. I thought that was the name of the brewery But it's not Fortnum and Mason is, is a department store in the London area of England and this was actually brewed for them by Westerham Brewery and they're in the uh, Kent area of England uh, produced in England for Fortnum and Mason, uh, Piccadilly, London, England, and Kent. Very confusing, but anyway, the brewery is Westerham. The store that sold it was Fortnum and Mason. All right, hope that cleared that up. Uh, India Pale Ale, a truly English IPA brewed with 100% finest Kent grown hops, English malted barley, and the award-winning Westerham Brewery's own heritage yeast culture for an intimately fruity, hoppy flavor. It's vegan friendly and gluten free. And they do put some information on the back of the can. Uh, the ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Um, the hops are Kent Grown, Target, Progress, West Kent, and West Kent Goldings. The malts are Pale Ale. Uh, the water comes from the Westerham Green Sand Aquifer. The yeast is Westerham House. It's supposed to have 50 IBUs and it's 5% ABV. And this is a 440 milliliter can. Boy, that's a lot of information. Thank you, Marcel, for this beer. On Untapped, it gets a 3.37, and it only has 446 ratings. And I did see some of the people on Untapped said that they had bought this, they had purchased this beer at the Heathrow Airport in London. And I'm thinking maybe that's where Marcel got it. It smells very malty. Here we go. It's clear with a uh, kind of an amber, an amber lager type appearance up to it. Of course, it's not a lager. The color of it made me think of Yingling lager a little bit. Uh, none of the what you normally get with American IPAs are the fruity, the grapefruit, and that. It's malt. It smells like malt. It's got a real nice pillowy head. Let's see what that tastes like. Wow. Malty, malty, malty. I'm drinking this in my zero gravity glass that my buddy Chris gave me. That's a Vermont brewery. An English beer in a Vermont glass. On a sunny day in Pennsylvania. It's a lot more malty than I'm used to. That's the English style. They love their malts over there. Uh, lightly carbonated, clear. All right, let's try the body. Cheers. Oh. 
Uh, it's a total malt bomb. If you like very malty beers, this would be the one for you. It does have a little bit of bitterness to it. If you handed me this and didn't tell me it was an IPA, I would say it's not an IPA. It's not like anything that I get around here in America, the United States of. It's easy to drink. It has a light to medium mouth feel. It's a little bit sweet. Maybe uh, two and a half to three sugar cubes. The bitterness is fairly low. They claim it as 50 IBUs. It doesn't seem like it has a hoppy bitterness. It's it's the malt is a little bit bitter. I would say uh, two two and a half hop cones out of five. It's not the style that I would prefer to drink. I wouldn't want to drink these a lot. It's not bad though. It doesn't taste bad. It goes down fairly easy. This is not one for hop heads. This is one for if there's such a thing as a malt head, which I don't know if there is. Uh, for me, I would, I don't know. I'll give it a B. Uh, it's pretty good. I don't mind drinking it. Not my favorite style. Uh, untapped, I give it a 3.37. I'll probably give it a 3.75. I like it more than the average. All right, that's it for the review. Thank you again, Marcel. I'm glad I got to try this. I give it a B. And for uh, Jerry Fort, the beer review guy, he wanted me to show a few cars. I don't have that many cars that are worth looking at, but I have a few. This is a 72 Ford Gran Torino Hot Wheel car. Of course, this one is popular probably because of the movie Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood. Great movie. And this one is a Johnny Lightning 1969 Roadrunner. You gotta love that car, huh? Alright, that's gonna do it. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Got a belts that don't quite want to come up. I have more beers from Marcel and a lot of other things lined up. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.